Hey folks, Matt here, and today we're going to Worcester, Massachusetts to see four awesome bands, including the new wave of British heavy metal legends, Raven. I'm really excited about seeing the show. So I'm gonna be showing you some live clips. Hopefully I'll have some interview clips. I don't know, we'll see. And afterwards, we'll do a merch haul, and I'll talk about the weekend in general. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this one. So right now I'm in the Staples parking lot here in Burlington, Vermont. About to go on I-89 right over there. Uh, some fun facts. First of all, this is a rental car. It is a Mitsubishi Mirage. It's a subcompact. I rented it from the good old folks at Enterprise. They were fantastic. Um, also, this is my very first time on the highway and my very first time doing interstate driving. This is my second time ever driving alone. Uh, you might remember from my Metal Origins video uh, back in 1983 when I swiped my mom's van for a joyride. That was the first time. So a lot of firsts. It's going to be kind of fun, kind of scary, but I love scary. Scary's awesome, right? Sure. So the drive is about 205 miles. In fact, I'll put up a screen cap of the map right there. Uh, also, I'll be listening to some music, of course. Uh, I want to listen to some albums from at least three of the four bands that I'm going to see. Sorry, Horn Majesty, it appears you don't have any albums out yet. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. i uh, got a couple Raven albums, a couple Sea Axe albums, and a couple Hessian albums. Those are the other bands that are playing. Um, I might go with Live at the Inferno for Raven. Probably going to go with... Uh, uh, Fallout Rituals for CX, and then uh, the newest album for Hessian. Should be a good time. So today is November 19th, uh, that is the day of the actual show, but it also happens to be my buddy Eric's birthday. You know Eric, you saw him in a couple episodes of the Record Store Report, he was also on the first episode of Hook Me Up. Good dude, been best friends with him for about 35 plus years, totally amazing. Uh, I did get him a couple records, of course. Uh, I got him Utgard from Enslaved, and I also got him Vices from Wasted. Uh, Wasted was Pete Way's band after UFO. Decided to go with one new and one old record. I thought he'd appreciate that. He also likes UFO a little bit, so I think it'll go over well. Um, it was really funny. I was in the record store, and I was looking at his uh, collection on Discogs. He has over 7,500 albums on the thing. And I was just spinning it, like scrolling, 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 waiting to load, scroll, scroll, scroll. It took me an hour to go through his whole collection. Meanwhile, I'm flipping through the metal bin going, nope, he's got that. Nope, he's got that. Nope, he's got that. Pretty amazing. Uh, amazing collection, Eric, you know that. So I think I did a good job. I'm pretty sure you don't have either one of these records. Fingers crossed. I should also point out for regular viewers that yes, Raven was one of the 10 bands on my top 10 list of bands I've never seen live, but really, really want to. Uh, they were number eight on that list. You should see that video, by the way, after this one. Pretty cool, very excited to see Raven. Great band. All right, so with that, let's get on the road. All right, so I'm about an hour into the trip, I believe. I'm at Randolph, Vermont, heading to southern Vermont and northern Massachusetts, obviously. Got some Mickey D's to stop, why not? I haven't hit anything yet, which is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's keep going. So just like that, I'm at Eric's house. And there's Eric. There you know Eric. <laughs> I've talked about Eric before. He's been on my channel a few times now. Yep. Pretty exciting. Yep, so uh, just for full disclosure, I didn't get any interviews. And much of that has to do with the fact that we got kicked out by a bouncer, basically. Yeah, well, the, the show ran real, real late. Yep. And you know the bar closes at two, two o'clock. So, they so. Need to get people out, so. and it didn't matter if band guys were like, "No, let them stay." They're still no, like, "No, get out! Yep. Everyone get out!" So I just couldn't do it. Yep. So in lieu of that, Eric and I are going to talk about the band's sets that they played and other stuff about the show in general. So we're going to start off with the first band, Horned Majesty. Mm -hmm. yep. So here they are.
I ain't got anything in the morning. Hey, all right. Where are Majesty? It's my birthday. Turn them up. Turn them up. Yeah.
So that was Horned Majesty, yeah, yeah. great band. Not Hooded Menace, that's a different band. Or, or Infernal Majesty. Another band, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, the Horned Majesty, they're from Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, that was my first time seeing them. That yeah, might as well. For, for a local band. Not much information on the internet about them, we found no, no, out? No, we, we looked and uh, that, that's how we found out they were from Rhode Island. I wasn't sure. Yeah. But we found that they, they have a band camp. But they're not on Metal Archives. No. Uh, I don't think they have an album out. We didn't find much no. music on the internet. They just had a little bit of merch at the show. Yeah. I didn't get anything from them. But they were pretty cool. I like really them. loved their bass player. Mm. He was amazing. He's an he older a, fella. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as a bunch of 50-somethings, we're saying oh, yeah. he's older than us even. Yeah, I'd say he's a little, the wear and tear on his face. He's definitely in the late 50s at least. You think? I think he's a little older. Yeah, yeah. Eh, who knows? Anyways, amazing bass player. Play with his fingers, which I love. Yeah, and the... the, the, the they definitely had like a uh, like the way the guy sang and just sort of, you know gave me like a southern rock vibe. Yeah, which is not a kind of a sludgy thing southern on. rock thing yeah. going on. I love southern rock. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I sure. Feel good. You know, all, all the band members definitely were having fun. Yeah, you know? yeah, a lot of energy. Cool band. I'd love to hear an album from them. Yeah, Maybe yeah. they'll put one out. Yeah, yeah, hopefully they'll come out with a demo or something yeah. soon. So there were other cool bands. We're gonna yeah. see yet another one. This yeah. is Hessian. Yeah, Hessian from Portland, Maine. So here they are.
All right, so that was Hessian. Yeah, yeah, the Hessian always puts on a really good set. Great that band, great also, pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, Angus always has a crazy spandex going on. He had the yeah. checkerboard one. They're very one. revealing yeah. pants, as you yeah, just yeah, saw, so, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, uh, you know, they had the fog machine. That was the first time I've seen them have yep, the fog pretty machine. Pretty amazing. Which was kind of cool. They shared it with the next band, which we'll talk about later. Yep. But yeah, I yeah, really yeah. like the female guitar player. Yeah, She's yeah, amazing. Zo I believe her name's Zoe. Yeah, yeah great she, leads. Yeah, really yeah. cool leads. Yeah, the, 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 She's on that most recent album, the yep, Mercenary yep. Retrograde. Yep, Mercenary Retrograde, yeah. great album. Then, also, then, then, Bachelor of Black Arts is the one before that. Yeah, yep, yep. yep. It, it was a, a little bit of a different lineup. The, the mainstay is Angus, the, the the lead singer and guitarist. He, he, mm -hmm. He's Hessian. Right on. Much. But, but, you know, the, the, it was definitely a good set. You know, they played... They didn't really play too much off of their older stuff. It was mostly more of the newer stuff. I wish I was dead. Yeah, yeah, I wish I was great dead. Great song. And then, uh, the homunculus. Yep. I think that's one of the few old ones that they play. Yeah. Okay. I noticed he had a Thin Lizzy shirt on. I did catch some Thin Lizzy oh, vibes. Yeah, was, uh, going they, on. To they totally love the, the, the new wave of British heavy metal. Yeah. You see like the patches that he wears on yep. his jacket, you know, the Holocaust, and yep. like he said, Thin Lizzy, Angel Witch, and stuff like that. We're yeah. going to hear more about Nawabo yeah. shortly. Yeah, well, Raven's part of that, you know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and they were the headliners tonight. Definitely. You know, it, it, it was a good mix of bands. You know, there wasn't anything like odd, like a death metal band or a black metal band. It was all mostly traditional or a speed metal. Yeah. You know, and Speaking of speed metal yeah, proper, yeah, 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 the next we're gonna watch some CX. CX from, the mighty CX. Yeah, they're originally from Framingham, and now they're, they're most, mostly based around Worcester now. So here we go. Yep.
All right, that was CX. Yep, CX. I've seen them quite a few times as well because they're you know, local. You they know. are from Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, they have the Carmine with his high pitched vocals. Yeah, love and it. He likes to get the crowd going. Great front know. man. Yeah, yeah, Great he, energy. Yeah, you good, saw him. He has so. a good stage presence. Yeah, I definitely. Saw that. Yep. You know, it was good, good to hear him sing some songs that they're, on their second album. A uh, different singer was on there, Steve Ace. Right. Uh, Ace. Yep. So uh, it was cool to hear him yeah. sing some songs from that. So again, uh, I didn't get any interviews, but I did talk to Carmine. Unfortunately, the audio wasn't up to snuff, so I couldn't use it in this video. But the basic gist of what he told me was that they are putting out a new album in 2022. Uh, they did play one song from it, but I didn't get that clip. Mm. Sorry, folks. But... I'm excited for a new CX album. Yeah, They're always good. Too. Yeah, pretty cool. But it was a good set, uh, and, and uh, that was the first time I've seen him with a different. Uh, before they had a, a different guitarist in the band, so it was my first time seeing him. With, I believe his name is Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the first time seeing him. Of course, Sam they ended Sam. with a classic song yeah, from yeah, their catalog. Yeah, that, that was actually one of the songs that, that came from the album that Steve sang on. Oh, drink fucking die. You know, it's, yep. <laughs> it's a great, great. song. <laughs> it's a great sing along chorus. Of course. Yeah. Well, yeah, they definitely emulate like Razor and st Exciter st is in there. It's definitely speed metal, speed, like, sort of and, Canadian and, variety, but they're U.S. band. And plus, you know, bands like Judas Priest and stuff like that. Yeah. Because of the way Carmine's got the high pitched vocals going on. Yep. So, you know, he likes all that stuff, like you know, that Glacier and stuff like that. Right on. So of course, the final band yep. is Raven. The Mighty Raven, you know, from from, yeah. the, from Britain. You know, we, me and Matt have been fans of them since high school. You know? It's true. So, and this is our first time getting to see them, so it was really, really special to, to get to see them in, in such a small place too, like the Ralphs. Nice and really, up close, really, like right up front, right at the stage. We know? held the right up front space yeah, yeah, on the stage. Were, we didn't move anywhere. Yeah, we're, we're just like keep the space yeah, to shoot up there, and hang out and sing there. the band. Cause it's always good to be like right there, you know. Mark, Mark yep. Gallagher was right in our face. Yep. Right the whole on. show was fucking rad. But you know what? Let's stop talking about it. Let's let him yep. see it. There he goes. There they are. There. <laughs>
chain without fucking each other up, right? Yeah. Yeah. You won't get me on the hammer truck! because we're not going to put up with it, we're not going to deal with it. What we're going to do is we're going to use a mind over um, that's all.
Raven. Raven, you know, yeah. They kept on playing encore after encore. It was crazy. I thought you want break, one more song? Yeah, yeah. I thought Break the Chain would probably be the last one. Yeah. Nope, nope. Yeah. We kept on playing. Yeah. Very cool. So we got to see Raven finally. Yeah, no, finally Amazing. Check that one off my list. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were number eight on my top ten. Yeah, no, list, yeah that the, list. Yeah. 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 It was definitely on mine too. And when I found out about the show, I, I texted them. Like, yeah. Dude, Thank you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you got some merch? Yes. That's a, we're going to show my merch uh, when I get home later in this video. We're going to show Eric's stuff while I'm here with him. Yeah, I only bought, I only bought one CD. I, I got the, the new Raven album, Metal City. Yep. I haven't really got it in a spin yet, but th they played a few songs off it last night. It sounded good. You know? Now, they had another version with a bonus track. Yeah, a Japanese one, but it was like 10 bucks extra. I didn't yeah. want to spend that much extra right. for just one song. Do you remember what the song was? Yeah, I think it said, uh, I think it was Rock This Town, so I wondered if it was a Stray Cats. Stray Cats. A Stray Cats cover, right. maybe. I don't know. Interesting. But, but uh, usually at shows, especially local ones like this, I always see local musicians. Yep. And if they have new music, mu new music, they will let me have a copy. And so you have some non related show yeah, stuff? Yeah, this is non related stuff. Uh, this is actually local metal stuff that I picked up. Um, my friend Michael Russell, he's a drummer in a number of bands. He gave me some demos. Like here's a demo to this one band called Witch Tomb. It was like a live rehearsal demo. There's some great song titles there. I remember yeah, yeah, you yeah. sharing a couple with them. Yeah, with there's one called Mocking Jehovah, Holy Mother of Shit. Sure. You know, it, you know, nails and hammers. You yeah. Know, death stench. You know, it's good stuff. And then, uh, another one he's in is called Cruentation. And there's the dem rehearsal demo. And that one's got just uh, no no songs titles. It's just five unnamed tracks. You guess the titles. You can name yeah. them, like a yeah, fill in the, yeah, fill in choose the your line. adventure. You know, yeah, different. Exactly. And then he gave me actual this is an actual release one. That's in a jewel case. It's uh this band Sacred Whore, and then there's another band called Putrescent on it as well. And I'm not sure if he's in Putrescent or not, but I know he's in Sacred Whore. Yeah, he did mostly black metal. Yeah, of course. Cool. And he's been in a number of other bands in the past, like Death God Messiah and Impentinent Thief. Mm -hmm. uh, some cool name bands. Cool. You know. <laughs> so this is where we're going to say goodbye to Eric. Uh, by the way, thank you for telling me about the show, letting me stay oh, yeah. at your place for the weekend, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it was great. And uh, when I get back home, I'm going to talk about my merch haul and some other thoughts about the weekend. So definitely stay tuned. So fast forward one day, it's now Sunday afternoon, I'm well on my way back to Vermont, in fact I'm in southern Vermont, thereabouts, about an hour and a half away from Burlington, and uh, when I get home, we're going to sit on the couch as usual, and I'm going to tell you about the weekend, I'm going to tell you some stuff that Eric and I kind of left out, and all of that, so there you go. All right, so now I'm back home. It's a few days later, and I just wanted to go over some things that Eric and I forgot to mention. Uh, mostly I forgot to mention. And of course, I do have some notes right here, of course, because I don't want to forget them again. So first thing I want to mention is that I'm actually originally from Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, I more or less grew up there as a kid in the 70s and the 80s. Uh, I moved to Vermont in 1990, but I visit Worcester fairly regularly. So Ralph's also is a club I'm pretty familiar with. I've seen dozens of shows at Ralph's. So it's kind of like coming home to some degree or another. I did see some people there at the show that I knew. Of course, Eric was there. Um, great place, great time. Love coming back to Worcester when I can. Uh, also, I uh, should give you a little bit of context for some of the comments I made in the beginning of the video. I did mention that I 
did my first time highway driving experience as well as my first time interstate driving. That might seem a little strange to you without a proper context. And the context is basically that this past summer, I got my driver's license finally, um, which is amazing to some people, I'm sure, but it's what happened. So this drive was pretty cool because it was a bit of a trial by fire for me. Had to basically tighten up my skills a bit and put myself in some real world situations, including city driving, which I hadn't done because I live in Northern Vermont and there are no real cities here. So that was pretty cool. And I really enjoyed the trip on that level as well. Learned a lot about driving. Things all of you probably already know about and are pretty bored to hear about. So I won't go into details with that. Um, I should also mention that at the show, I met up with a buddy of mine, Buddy Varrick's too. Uh, this is Joel Gostin, of course. Joel is a music journalist. He's written a number of books. You can go search those out if you want. Joel is also a somewhat regular writer to Brave Words. Uh, they are a website that many metal fans know about. So if you've seen the name Joel Gostin, that's probably where you've seen it the most. So good seeing Joel, of course. He came down from New Hampshire to attend the show, but also to hang out with me. So very cool on both parts. So I also wanted to mention some details about the sets we saw in particular. Um, as for Hessian, I know Eric and I mentioned that they have a bit of a Thin Lizzy thing going on. What I didn't say was that they actually covered a Thin Lizzy song. They did the song Suicide, a pretty good version too. And I'm usually kind of not so cool with cover songs, but it was actually a pretty decent version. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, as for CX, they did pull from all four of their studio albums, including their second album, To the Grave. That's the one Carmine doesn't sing on. So it was cool to hear Carmine singing that material live. Uh, they ended their set with a song from that album. Eric already mentioned it, so I don't need to mention it again. Very cool stuff. As for Raven, they did count down to their show. They did the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then they kicked into their set. What was funny about that was that they actually did that right at midnight. I looked at my watch, I saw it was 11.59, and it changed to midnight right as they kicked in. So they timed that out, which is just incredible. Also, uh, Raven ended their set with a cover song. They did ACDC's It's a Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll. They did a really excellent version of it. I love ACDC. Do I love all ACDC covers? Not so much. But with Raven doing it, yeah, it kind of worked out. Of course, I said I was going to show you some merch, so I'm going to show you some merch. Got a little Hessian sticker right here. Pretty cool. Uh, they gave these to me when I purchased their album. This is their latest album, album number two for the band called Mercenary Retrograde. Came out in 2018. They did a couple songs from it. Here's the track listings here. Very cool album. Looking to get their previous album, Bachelor of Black Arts. I've heard it's also a great album. I've heard from Eric, so I'm definitely going to get it on vinyl. Also got the second album from CX. I talked about this earlier. This is To The Grave, came out in 2014. This is the album Carmine isn't singing on, but again, he did some material from it for the show, so that was very awesome. There's the back cover there for you. I'm gonna talk about this one as well as the Hessian one in a future episode of Vinyl Hall, so I'll go into more detail about it then. Of course, I did pick up some t-shirts. I do have the CX shirt here. This is the cover to their latest album, Fallout Rituals. Great album. You should already be listening to it. Uh, Single-sided shirt. Glad to have, finally have one of these in my collection. And I also did get a Raven Tour shirt. This one for their latest album, Metal City. That is the front cover of the album. And we've got some tour dates on the back. Worcester is not on there, but I'm sure that's just an oversight. But there you go. I also did get some records signed. Um, Carmine was nice enough to autograph my copy of Fallout Rituals right there. A little hard to see, so I'll basically put up a graphic now. And you can see that it says, to Matt, you are the fucking man. Speed metal thunder, heavy metal sound, Carmine Blades. So very cool that he did that for me. There's the back cover with the track listings. I've talked about this album already. You already know it. There it is. Of course, I also got the Gallagher Brothers to sign a couple Raven albums for me. Uh, they signed my copy of Metal City. Mark's here, John's right there. Very cool. And they also signed my copy of their Live in Allborg album. This is a live album, double live album. Uh, both right there and right there. But I am gonna be letting go of this copy. And I got a little bit of a story here. Uh, you might remember some time back when I got Metal City, uh, it was bought for me by my pal Darcy at Darcy Six Strings Nine Lives. He does a YouTube channel, much like mine. And I couldn't find that album anywhere in the States. And he's in Canada, so he bought it and he sent it to me, which was really cool. I told him that in exchange, if I could get the Gallagher Brothers to sign something, that I would get him that. So Darcy, 
this is getting sent to you. And that's my thanks for getting that Metal City album for me. So very, very cool. So look out for this. So I know I already thanked Eric for letting me stay at his house for the weekend, for telling me about the show. But I also want to thank him for giving me some download codes. He gave me these. You can freeze frame and check out the bands there. And also the codes are invalid. You can't use them. But very cool. I love free music. So one last little story on my ride back to Vermont from Worcester. I was uh, playing some Apple Music. I had a playlist for metal songs from 1984. Uh, 1984 would have been the year I would have got my license had I got it when I was 16. I thought there was some little correlation there. What was funny about the playlist, and I didn't intend this because I made the playlist way the hell back, was that every other song was about driving really, really fast. I mean, it opened up with Free Will Burning from Judas Priest, but there was also Under the Gun from Kiss, and Stick It from Great White, and All Fired Up from Fastway, and Metal Thrashing Mad from Anthrax. It was just song after song of just pedal to the metal and going super fast. And might be one of the reasons why I drove 100 miles an hour down I-89 in the speed lane. So that's who I blame. I blame the metal. There you go. Of course, I'd like to also take some time and thank each and every band for being in this video, whether they had a choice or not. That'd be Horned Majesty, Hessian, Seax, and Raven. Great show, great sets from all four bands. I'd highly recommend that each and every one of you go to their Facebook, go to their band camp, find their music, buy it, and enjoy it. That's what all of this is all about. So if you stumbled upon my channel merely through a simple YouTube search, looking for Live Raven or Live Seax, and you're wondering, what the hell is this guy's channel about? My name is Matt. This is the Accusation Network. I do videos on metal vinyl collecting each and every week. Check out my playlist. I do over a dozen shows on the subject. I think you'll find something that you like. And if you made it to the end of this fairly long video, I would definitely appreciate a like, but only if you like it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Share the video with some friends. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.